Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. Woo! <laughs> Hi and hugs to Joey, Pam, Paula, and Ellen. Thank you so much for watching and for your wonderful comments and all. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to make some five pocket pockets. We're going to do that, but first I'm going to share my organization using that term very loosely, my organization of my scraps. Um, I've had a couple of requests for that. So first off, I have two spots for scraps. One is a basket that is on the table right behind where I film. Um, that's my collaging uh, scraps, I would call it. Um, and so I want those handy for if I need to collage, right? So, and then across the across my room, I have a um, a fruit box. It's one of those, you know, big fruit boxes. And I have scraps in there. So I'll go through both and just tell you how how I do it. Now, it's not fancy. It's plastic bags is what it is. <laughs> So, um, in my basket for collage, so my collage scraps, I have a small sack of, of uh, collage scraps, I have a medium, and I have a large. So, obviously, the bigger pieces go into the large one, and then smaller, and then the teeny weenies go in here, right? So I have this system for both patterned papers and for plain papers. So um, the front, the pattern papers on the front of a card or a tag, and then I have the same sort of size uh, organization for the uh, plain strips. So that's in there. Um, another thing that is in here um, that I have is I have a bag for book pages and I have a bag of music pages. So um, theoretically that would be all that's in there, but of course it's not. <laughs> so uh, then the other thing that I have in here, let me just put these back so I don't get myself in too much of a kerfuffle. Okay. Well, they're not fitting right right now, but. <laughs> and then I also have um, a package of papers that I got from Rachel at Roxy Creations. The Florentine papers. Um, there's some grid paper in here. I think there's, I think there's old Italian book page. Oh, there's a little bit of um, coffee dyed some straw paper. So um, that is that is from Rachel. So I have that in there. Um, and then I have, I have at the back, I have these wonderful papers that my friend Carrie gave me for backing cards and tags and stuff. They're just coffee dyed pieces. Um, as well, I have a couple of pieces of the straw paper, which um, for for new people, this is a paper that Rachel at Roxy Creations sells and um, on her Etsy store. And it's, I guess it's, um, they use it for placemats in, um, in Italy. So anyway, that's pretty much, that pretty much takes care of that basket. So the collaging, I have at the front, small, medium, large, then um, the pattern papers, and then on this side, the coffee dyed and other plain papers, small, medium, large, then I have book pages, then I have music pages, and then I have the um, Roxy Creation stuff at the back. So that's that basket. Just hard to show you on camera, so I thought I'd just talk through it. Okay, my big fruit box. That is, that's the crazy one. 
Okay, so I'll show you. Okay, so I have my plastic bags and I have them labeled. So this is border strips. I have a um, I have a video of uh, weaving these to make uh, a new piece of paper. Obviously need to take some time to do that, right? So there's that one. So I'm really struggling because I can't put things on the floor because I had my carpets cleaned yesterday. <laughs> um, and they're still slightly damp. So anyways, um, I'm trying to put it all on my table, which is kind of crazy. Okay, border strips. Then I have one for rectangle uh, scraps. And um, you've seen me do before with these like... Um, like just folding them up to make a uh, flip and things like that. So the um, the uh, rectangle ones, for the most part, are in this bag. Okay. Then I have this bag, which is, these are things that I thought would be good basis for uh, clusters. Um, there's tiny rectangles which I haven't been sorting properly, and then just little pieces that could be clusters. I feel like I need to make some packs of scraps for my Etsy. <laughs> I've done that before and they've, and they've gone well, so maybe I need to do it again. Um, okay, and then also I have like whole sheet paper scraps. So they're, they're bigger sheets, you know, and can, um, can be used, you know, whole sheet wise. Anyway, bigger sheets, whole paper. And then, um, kind of from my mixed media days, these were my work mat papers. Um, the, the big, uh, I put a big white sheet of paper on when I'm doing mixed media. And so these were papers from that. And it looks like a few other extras <laughs> that have been misfiled. There's always that. Okay, so that's that. Um, then I have, right now I have two sacks of napkins, napkin scraps. I need to do some more fabric paper and and use up some of my napkin scraps definitely and then um this one's out of control too this is uh tissue paper tissue paper scraps uh and then um then i have a cup this bag is i would say this is miscellaneous it's just there's music paper in there. There's all sorts of different things in there. And then this is what I started out with. Something that said collage papers. And it's grown into all those bags. <laughs> so, yeah, it's... Uh, I, need, I need to go through and weed out. And I, I need to share some, share some uh, packs on my Etsy. Okay. And then the other thing I have is I have at the back of that, I have a, um, a bag that is collage for like, if I make a collage sheet to put on my Etsy, like I have the collage paper or collage page kit on my Etsy. I want to do more of those. I just never find the time. So, um, I, I have that, which is, Things that, in my understanding, I am not a copyright expert. Don't even ask me because <laughs> I, just, I just really, I, I go by what I've learned from other people on YouTube. So anyways, before 1924. So I have a, I have a bundle of those in a bag. And then I have this one, which is my faves, my favorite papers. So this one stays pretty in control because I use it all the time. So that's what I do. I have the basket with my uh, my papers basically for making tags and journal cards. 
And then I have the rest of the scraps in that big fruit box by all of those, um, all of those headings that I told you about. So that's what I do. Um, I, it's not, it's not perfect. And as you can see, it gets out of control. And what I really need to do is, is go through it and, um, and just kind of weed it out. And like I say, maybe share some, um, maybe share some on my Etsy. Okay. I'm just pouring myself a little water because sure as I don't have it ready, it will, I will have a cough or a tickle. Okie dokie. Let's make these pockets. So I told you I got my carpets cleaned. So I took a little um, tray of stuff up to my dining room um, table while they were cleaning the carpets and I did a little mass making. I'm so proud. So I have six pockets here. So these are inspired by Joey DeFit on YouTube. I'll put a link to her video in the description box. But um, these are just awesome. So they are, we've got one pocket here, two, three, four, five. And depending on how you put it on the page, you could have six or six, couldn't you? So I want to show you how these fit on the page. They're just great. Okay, let me grab a grab a little um, page so so yeah look they'll just they you could have them down here especially if you have something tall up here put it in the middle tuck in there yeah so anyway um, and she showed hers all filled with tags and everything I haven't done that yet because I've been I've been figuring out scraps <laughs> Okay, so I'll show you the ones I did. And then they're just sewn around. So I did this one, this one. These were all with scraps from my faves bag. A little Blue Fern Studio. I think this these two are Blue Fern too. And then this is a little Timmy Holtz. A little Stamperia. And another Tim Holtz. So super fun to have these all made up. And um, the cool thing is Joey was trying to figure out what to do with some bigger books. And I, I have this giant book. I'm not even sure. It is, it's about 12 and a half inches by nine and a half inches. So it's a big old book. And um, I got it, uh, I got it at an estate sale. And um, it's just, it's birdies. I got it for the birdies to cut them out, but I haven't, I haven't done much of that yet. So what I did is I took some pages from the back that were just text. Um, so did that one. And then I also did this one. Once again, got it at an estate sale. Um, and it's a nice... Uh, it's a nice book, but it's the shiny pages, which I don't love. But for this purpose, they work just fine. I mean, I liked all the flowers in it and stuff, but I don't like the shiny paper. So, there you go. Anyway, so those are the books I used. Um, maybe we should take one out and start from the beginning. That would probably be a good idea. But I was tickled to be able to use some of my scrapbooking scraps, right? That's, that's what we're all about on Saturdays around here. Okay, so um, let me use my, I'm going to use my knife. Okay. I don't want to get paper chunks on my newly washed carpets, but you know what? It's going to happen. Okay. All right, so we got we got the page out. That's a good thing. That's a good place to start. Okay, and so so um, all you do is just put this like that. Um, everything's in different places because of my carpets. I, 
don't ha I usually have this right on the floor. So I'm just going to cut it in half, that's all, like so. And there we go. Okay. So then, um, and Joey has very intricate, um, very intricate directions. I'm just going to kind of do it and you'll see what I'm doing. But she, she goes into depth. So that's good to know, right? Okay. So I am going to line that up there. Of course, my cutting with my utility knife was a little shoddy. Okay. So, um, I just kind of, as I went, I punched my little thumb hole for the pockets as I went. So I'm going to do this one. Just kind of eyeball the middle and do that. Okay. And then, um, I need other book pages for for this pocket. And I used some of my Italian pages, but then I realized they're all covered up. So I'm not gonna use those. I'm gonna use, um, I'll just use some of these from my, from my glue book. Cause you don't really see, you don't really see them anyway. I'll put that up there. Okay. So um, these, she kind of did in um, in thirds, more or less, like um, like so. I did. I ended up cutting off some of mine just because I didn't feel like I needed that much bulk. Okay, um, there's bad word on that one. I can't even do Ernest Hemingway without bad words. Okay, it's going to be covered up, so I'm just going to not worry about it. Uh, I'll just put my finger over it. Okay. Um, oh, I don't want to do that yet. I want to decide, turn it over. I want to decide how wide I want this. I want it the same width as my back pocket. So I'm just going to give myself a couple of little hash marks there to work from. We're going to get to the scraps part here in a second. <laughs> You're like, uh, those are new book pages you're using. Those aren't scraps. Well, kind of they are, you know, because they do add up to the book pages. Okay, so we've got that very close to the same um, width as our initial sort of base pocket. Okay, so then I'm going to fold this one down to about the same, um, about the same spot as the front page, close enough. Okay, now I can tell the center and I'm gonna go ahead and give that a punch, right? Okay, now that pocket is gonna go right there, right here. Um, okay, so now we need to do our um, uh, 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 we need to do our decorative pockets and I wanted to use if I can see what I did with it not there, not there not there, here it is I saw this when we were looking at the organization, isn't that pretty I think I'll use that okay um, now these are, these are kind of easy. The dimensions for the, for the, uh, big back pocket, this pocket is four by four. So I'm going to cut this off at four right there. Okay. We have another piece we can use and, um, and then I think I want this as my small pocket. So this pocket is two by four. So I'm gonna do two there. Wouldn't it be great if this was four? And it is, look at us. So um, six by six papers work good for this too because you know, once you cut them down there, they can, you know, you've got your two and you've got your four. So, okay. 
let's put our holes in those. And really, I got on a roll. And um, so I made these six I made in, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half, something like that. So I thought that was pretty good. Okay. Black Sue. And then the other punching I want to do is I want to round the corners of this bottom pocket. Joey rounded these corners, but I thought, you know, you don't really see them, so I didn't I didn't bother with those ones. Okay, so now it's inking time. And uh yeah, this was such a fun video, Joey. Thank you. And I love I love having pockets that will um kind of cover a page because it's it's then great for um it's great for white pages, like if you if you print digitals in the back, you don't have anything to print on the back. Turn that over. Um, then it it will cover most of that space. So I'm gonna try and do two videos today. I've got my son's family is coming in this next weekend, and so I want to get ahead so I don't have to film when they're here. Just hang out with them and enjoy, which will be fun. And they're bringing their little dog, Prince. He's a cockapoo, and he's adorable. So I'll get my, get my grand puppy fix in, too, as well as my grandbabies. So, yeah, not, I'm not sure what, that, you know, we're going to do much. We're just going to kind of hang out and be together. Um, I do think on, on Saturday, we will be watching, um, Addie's volleyball. Um, they, they enjoyed it too. And they, they, uh, got the service as well that, that we got so that we could watch. Okay, so we are going to put that right there. And this will go here. And this will go back here. Isn't that cool? And then you just sew around the edges. We'll we'll do the whole thing of one. And then maybe we'll we'll look at some of the other scraps and see if we want to do some more. Okay. So now, at this point, I'm going to glue on this piece. If my glue is going to cooperate. I so would have given anything to know what the little carpet cleaner guys thought when they came down to this craft room. <laughs> I just would have loved to have known. And um, he came, oh, the bad words everywhere. Ugh. Okay, well, I'll cover it up with um, some lace. We'll put lace on this one. Seriously, why do they have to use bad words in books? Okay, so we'll put that there and we'll get some lace on it. So these are going to be glued, and then um, I won't glue this one on because it will be sewn on. So I just kind of eyeballed this. I didn't have a, a plan really, and I did try to kind of line up the pockets so that they're, you know, lined up here and here. Okay, so I'm going to sew that, and then we'll put some lace over the bad word, JCPZ. Oh, JCPZ is right. Okay, so um, then I'm just going to hold this on there, and I'm going to um, backstitch up at the top because, you know, that's going to be a point of tension. Kind of 
Oh my goodness. I have those, um, I'll tell you in a minute. have those uh, plastic booties on because of my carpets <laughs> and I keep getting kind of stuck. Okay. Alrighty then. So we have this and um, I am going to put some lace on this. How about this? Some right here and you should be able to see through this yep that'll be it doesn't really go though does it um what else do i have handy that'd be better yeah that's good okay And I sure could have um, sewn that on too, but I was thinking, I don't know if I could hold the pocket and the lace at the same time, you know? So I decided I'd just glue it on. Okay. Okay, well, Maybe that's okay. It showed us another thing we could do. We can put lace on the bottoms. <laughs> oh, I don't feel like I got that very good. Okay, but aren't those so fun, guys? I just think they're great. Um, we'll make one with the flower book, too, so you can kind of see the difference and um, see how that it really just does cover up that back like um so like this one was made from the flower book and it's a little bit smaller this way this way um but i just cut these pages to fit anyway so it works out fine but there's another one and that's cute i like that with the little bird okay um, what else do we have in this whole paper pack thing? Is there something, that, another scrap we could use? There's this. This is awesome. I have a feeling this came in Happy Mail because it's got <laughs> washi tape on the top for, for some reason. But yeah, that's a pretty scrap of paper. I love that. Okay, so my whole page's bag over there is, is starting to look pretty good. Um, I'm going to put these two in my faves, though, because I, I will use those again. Okay, so here's here's one. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot to get this reinforced. Okay, well, now we have to do another because I left out a step. I forgot about these. Okay, so here we go. Just going to fold that, clip this. Oh, I got so excited about my scrap of paper, I totally forgot that one step. Okay, guys. Well, this will all be familiar except for the piece that I forgot. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Okay, I think this is okay. Sheesh. Okay, so we're going to put this up. Actually, I'm just going to kind of look at my page and decide how tall I want it about there because I can cut off the top. That's okay. And so I think I'll cut off about this much right there. Okay. You 
guys, I have no room. I have scraps everywhere. <laughs> Bags of scraps everywhere. Okay, I'm going to fold this down, okay? And I'm going to measure and cut it again. My bags are falling over. But guess what I'm going to do this afternoon? <laughs> Besides doing another video, I'm going to try and organize those scraps a bit. Um, and I figure I have my grandkids coming. Maybe I can get some scrap packs made up. And or send some home with them because they love to do stuff with paper too. Okay, so there is our little pocket. We're gonna get do this and then I'm gonna do the step that I forgot the last time, okay? Okay, so we've got our two pockets. To reinforce that slightly, we are going to put a piece of scrap cardstock because this is a great way to use up your scrap card cardstock too, and made it a little bit less um, than the um, width of this page, just so when you're sewing, it isn't one more width. So then all I did was take my glue, go like that, and smush that down. And then I just glue down the cardstock. And then it just it just makes this a little more sturdy is all. So so that's good, right? Okay. <laughs> Whoopsie. Forgot. Totally forgot. Okay. All right, so now we're to doing our scrapbook paper, our four by four and two by four. And the four inches, yeah, I, you don't have a lot of room on the edges, but it doesn't matter. My sewing machine did fine. Okay, so let's see, what do we want here? Okay, I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go four this way. And this will be another scrap for another day. Down in the faves. Okay. I'm gonna do the four like that. No. There's a two. Okay, I'll do this as the two. Hmm. I kind of want, okay. I'm gonna do this backwards a little bit. I want that rose at the top of my pocket. So I'm gonna go four inches and this is just gonna this is going to leave a little strip that will be a good base for a <laughs> cluster. Okay, so I got my four by four. Now I think I'll... Now I really want this flower for my two inches. Yes, I do. I'm making more scraps, aren't I? But it's because I'm cutting around so I can get the pictures that I want. Okay. Okay, this is good. Okay, those will go in another bag. Okay. So, we'll clip our tops here. Yeah, that other one will, I think the pocket will be fine because it's a newer book, but especially if you use old book for that pocket, that reinforcing with the cardstock is is a great idea okay oh i want to do the bottom i do like the corners around it it gives it kind of a um a 
it gives it a nice look. I was going to show you. I think I did one where I forgot. Yeah, this one. So, see the difference? I do like them better rounded, although this one's just fine. And I do like that black corner. So, it worked out okay. Okay. So, let's do this. I forget what this is called, this paper pack, but I've always liked it. I want to say it's something like Love Story or something like that. Don't really need to do the bottom. It's not going to show. Yeah, so the next two days, my husband and I have nothing on the calendar. We're so excited. <laughs> Isn't that silly? But it's like, I said, oh, good. I can get double. Because um, doing, doing two hour videos in one day is a lot. It's like, I run out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> And, and to be honest, I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, but we'll figure something out. Um, okay, so that's going to go there. So this, I think I'm going to put it just under this pink line. I like that. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, two videos is a lot, and and just because it takes a while to load them, too. Not bad, but it does take some time. Okay. Okay, and this will be there. And this little guy has to go on there. They're pretty quick to make, aren't they? Probably quicker to make than they will be to fill, <laughs> you know, trying to fill them up with goodies. Okay, just lining up. There we go. So that one's ready to be sewn too. I won't, I won't sew it today. But um, let's check our time and maybe we'll try and make make a few clusters or something. Yeah, we've got time. Because really this bag is out of control. It really is. It's just like so many scraps. Goodness sakes. A couple of those we could collage on. Those could make good journal cards, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to keep those for journal cards. Look at me starting to starting to uh, think about things other than just getting rid of some of this stuff. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I've kept everything. It's kind of crazy. Let's Let's see if we can use these. Ooh, that's pretty on that side. That's not all that exciting, but I like it better than the shoes. And that's that's good. I mean, these are colors that I would I would use, so I don't know what's what's all even in here. Go on that. Kind of the wrong color pink. Is that the wrong color pink? Oh, I think it's okay. 
Okay. Oh, there's this that's so pretty. I don't mind the um, straight lines, but I like a little torn as well. The straight edges, I mean, not lines. <clears throat> I keep thinking I'm stepping on a on a plastic bag and it's my little booties on my shoes. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, that's kind of nice. All right. I really am trying not to get paper all over my floor and it's not working. <laughs> okay. What else do we have here? Here's a little music something. I was thinking it'd be fun to kind of, um, be fun to decorate these two, these pockets. Like you could put a little cluster or something right there. Hmm. That's a thought. Goes that way. <laughs> I I way overthink clusters, by the way. I mean, you're supposed to kind of just put things down, but... Um, I, I overthink it and want the papers to match and, you know, stuff like that. Ooh, here's a bunch of Tim Holtz. Those make fun um, clusters. I don't know. Maybe what we'll do tomorrow is decorate some of these pockets and... I'm gonna play with these clusters a little more. Look at this. This is like a mother load right here. Here's some more of that paper. <laughs> some Timmy, some more Timmy. Okay. Oh, here's more Timmy. I don't know what that is. Huh. Yeah, so many papers, so many papers. Okay, anyway, I'll put this back and we'll think about doing some decorating tomorrow. How about, and we can maybe do some of these tomorrow. And who knows where we're going with what I got going on here. Let's see, what do we have in here? This is just... I mean, I even have, from cutting out pockets, I even have those in there. I mean, which do look kind of fun on on something like this. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. There's some more roses. This is this paper pack, even. I used to take these bags to my daughters when we'd go visit and sit on the floor while they were watching a movie and <laughs> gonna call that one done. Yeah, kind of funny. Okay, and then I'm just gonna staple it together. And then this would look cute with another little flower covering this um covering that, I think. But we'll We'll decorate tomorrow. I'm just getting them put together today. What else do we want on that? I know I saw little bits of doily. I did.
I think I'm going to call that done. Where do I want the staple? Right. about there. My watch is ringing because my husband finished a workout. He was mowing. <laughs> oh, look at how pretty this is. It's a piece of music paper, but had a napkin on it. That is pretty. I'm going to put that there. And we'll put something in the middle of that one. And I'll probably distress the edges of this, but I always do that afterward when I decide where I'm using it. Okay, how are we doing time-wise, guys? Oh, good. We have 15 minutes. Yay. Okay, so I want to look at some of these Timmy papers. That's not... Little graphic 45. Little something else going on there. That's pretty. Okay. I can like that over to the side. This could actually be a little tuck on a page. Okay, we'll decorate that later. This one's fun. That one is not a Timmy. It is not double-sided. <laughs> We'll do something with that. I love this one. Could that go with this? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I don't want to cover up that. I don't want to, so I won't. How about... Is that a little bit longer? Well, that'll be fun. Okay. Hey, we're, we're making some progress on this little batch of stuff. What else we got? What else? That's a Timmy. That's a Timmy. Oh my goodness gracious. There's so many scrubs. Save me, I'm drowning. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, so could we we could do that. Then this to come out the side. Okay. 
Yep. Whoops. Did not work very well. Oh, can I really be out already? I just changed this. No, I'm not out. Come on. There we go. Okay. We're making some progress. We are making progress. Hmm. Need something smaller. Yes. And ask, and there it is. <laughs> It's got a bit of Mod Podge on it, but I don't care. I do find it fairly easy to make clusters with Tim Holtz. I don't know why that is, but maybe his papers just all go well together. I don't know. Another one. Oops. Except I didn't get all the all the layers. That's not good. How do I have that like that? It's okay. I'll put another staple. There we go. Okay, that one's done. Oh, we did pretty good. We did pretty good. But. These bags are really bugging me. I am definitely going to do some sorting and pulling out. Got lots of these little inchy things, and these came from Happy Mail. You guys always ask me, what do I do with all the Happy Mail? Well, I try and incorporate it, but ooh, sometimes it's... Sometimes I get a little overwhelmed with it all. I'm not going to lie, there's a piece of fabric. Okay, so let's oh. Gosh, I have a lot of these floating around in here. Christmas piece of paper. Got to put that with my don't freak out until Christmas pile. <laughs> don't freak out before Christmas, not until Christmas. Oh, look at these. Those would be kind of fun to make a cluster from. I cut them off the um, cover of a thing of paper. I do like this. I'll show you why I kept these because they're just kind of fun to put in the clusters, I think. Okay. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of teeny weeny 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 pieces in here that are not keepable, if you ask me. Okay, here's that. Put that there. I need 
need something for the back of them, like a piece to put them on. This could be a little tuck, couldn't it? I feel like I need something. Um, where would I do? I think I have some doily in here. This is my collage bag from the other. Okay. might go with that needs more decorating obviously but okay it was kind of fun to just end up grabbing things and making them work uh, I got it. here's a pink one yee Speaking of scrapbook paper, I will never use, <laughs> but I can use it for a cluster base. So I'm going to put that there and this here. I feel like I'd like a little doily on that too, and I happen to have some handy. Yep. do that. Okay. How are we doing time-wise? I've probably kept you long enough. Yes, I have. So, organization of bags and bags and bags of scraps. There's that. Then there is these fun little pockets. Thank you again, Joey, for your for your tutorial. I had so much fun doing it that I've just gone crazy making these. <laughs> and so there's that and then a whole pile of clusters. So maybe we'll do a little decorating tomorrow. That sounds like fun. And that's always a good continuation when I do two videos in a day. So thanks for crafting with me, everyone. And I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.